Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Talks training. In this session, we will be demonstrating correct installation of concrete screws. In this case, Fisher UltraCut FBS2 8 to 14. Fisher UltraCut is available in different sizes, uh, starting from M6 up to M14. Range 8 to 12 is also available in stainless steel. It comes in different head finishes, either as a hexagonal head with built-in washer, and we also offer countersunk head. UltraCut 8 to 14 is ETA option 1 approved for crack concrete. It has seismic approval C1 and C2. It benefits also from two hours fire resistant classification. There are published performance data also for solid dense masonry and pre-stress hollow floor slabs. UltraCut has fantastic load capacities and can be designed with three different embedment depths, uh, offering value engineering opportunities and savings on installation thanks to reduced drilling. Concrete screws are ideal for projects requiring fast and simple installation. This is thanks to their efficient and simple setting, and we will be demonstrating that very shortly. Concrete screws are fully removable, and after installation, they can be adjusted by removing screw by up to 20 millimeters to add, for example, additional packing if required. And you can do this twice. Zinc-plated screws also are DIBT Zulasung approved for temporary application in green concrete with compressive strengths from 10 newton per square millimeters. According to this approval, concrete screws can be reused, but if you want to do that, make sure you have a checking sleeve to check if you have sufficient thread on an anchor. If the screw protrudes beyond the sleeve, you know it has been worn and you mustn't use it again. So prior to any installation, make sure you have correct anchor as specified for your job. Refer, for example, to CFIX design software. Here you also have specified correct embedment depth, so observe that. Because you have to make sure you have correct length anchor for the job, Take into account your fixture thickness. If you need to include, for example, any shims, add that to your fixture thickness because you have to make sure you achieve the specified embedment depth. Otherwise, the load capacity uh, will be reduced. With UltraCut, as previously mentioned, we can value engineer your application so we can calculate what embedment you require for the job. So before any installation, make sure you have correct PPE. And now we are ready to demonstrate correct installation of concrete screw 10 mil. Make sure you have correct installation accessories and tool. So in this case, we will need to have 10 mil drill bit. Make sure it's quality PGA mark drill. Also double check it's not worn. So check a wear mark on a drill. You can use hollow drill bits and also diamond drilling is ETA approved. You will need 15 millimeter socket. For horizontal applications, you will need a blowout pump because you have to clean a hole. For vertical installation, you don't have to clean a hole. Just increase the hole depth if you are drilling downwards. Correct installation steps and any accessories are listed on a box. In this leaflet, you will find a recommendation on maximum installation torque values, which uh, will be 650 newton meters for this product. It has to be reduced to 600 if you are installing 8 mil concrete screw. On stainless steel, you would have to reduce that to 450 newton meters. Torque must be also reduced if you are fixing into green concrete or in masonry materials where you will be using the manual torque wrench. And in that case, you would have to reduce the torque to 5 to 50 newton meters, depends on a material. So always refer to the published data so you do it correctly. In our demonstration, we will be using Fisher FSS 600 impact wrench which will generate the torque up to 650, so it's a correct tool for this product. Thanks to patented, unique, so through geometry of the thread, we can install concrete screw very close to the edge. In this case, 10 mil can be installed only 40 millimeters from the edge, which is fantastic advantage on applications where minimum edge distance or very close axial spacings are required. 
and installation wise simply drive concrete screw full into the concrete until the head is firmly against the fixture. At that point you have to stop because otherwise the screw will be overstressed. Let's do the installation. So now we will be installing FBS 10 by 60. Maximum fixture thickness is only 5mm. Make sure you don't have more than that. You would have to use a longer screw because otherwise embedment will be reduced. Very easy, done. So in the end, quick summary. Make sure you use a correct anchor as specified, have correct tools and all installation accessory as listed on the packaging, use quality PGM drill bit and make sure it's not worn, check wear marks, drill to the correct diameter and correct depth. If fixing horizontally, clean a hole removing any debris or use Fisher hollow drill bits. When fixing vertically, hole cleaning can be omitted. However, if you are drilling downwards, increase hole depth by three times screw diameter. Use appropriate impact driver with correct rating as specified. Driving concrete screw fully until the head is fully engaged against the fixture. And if fixing into other base materials such as masonry, observe reduced installation torques, which can vary from 5 to only 15 newton meters, so always refer to the published data. For any further details or assistance, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827920 or visit our website at www.fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional App. Thank you for watching.